Hi, I'm Dawn, and this is where Chevy meets Blaine. I'm gonna share with you one of my favorite things that I've ever done. Um, I came across a finial a few years back that looked kind of like this. It uh, is not attractive. <laughs> the color is not right. These are pretty much out of style unless they're chippy white paint or, or black to look like iron. Um, so something like this, it really holds no purpose for anyone. But when I looked at it, all I could see was a pumpkin. I saw what looked like a jack-o'-lantern. So I bought it, and this was at a thrift shop, and I think I got it for like a dollar, dollar fifty or something. And I turned it into this. And I love him. I think he's amazing. And what I'm going to do today is take you step by step through how I made him. And this time I'm going to use that not so pretty blue one I showed you. And I'm going to make her into a pumpkin face, but she's going to be dressed up like a witch. And I wanted her to have a little more height. So I'm going to start off with two just simple little pieces of wood that you can get at any craft store. You can find them at resale shops. If you keep your eyes open, I always, anytime I come across anything like this, I buy it because you just never know when you're going to use it. So step one was to pre-drill a hole through it because this will get drilled through here. It'll be like here, there, and then there for height. So step one, hole drilled. Step two is I'm going to glue it down. After that, I'm gonna glue it and clamp it. Then this guy, it has a sheen to it. So whatever paint it was, I wanna make sure what I do to it sticks. So I'm going to take my handy dandy Rust-Oleum, and this is a deglosser, and this is from a furniture kit. And I've used this on furniture, I've used it on um, other little items that are nothing like furniture, um, like this. So I'm gonna degloss this little guy and then I'm gonna paint him black. And then we'll go from there. So it is completely painted, painted black on her pedestal. So she's a little taller. Um, now, since she's gonna be a witch, she's gonna remain mostly black, not like that, because I will be making a little witch's kind of cape situation for her and she will have arms and I'll probably put a broom in her hand and she'll have a witch's hat. Uh, but first and foremost, I need to paint her face. Um, what I'm gonna do is just slowly outline, as you can see here, outline my lines for the eyes and the nose and the mouth. She's gonna be a happy witch because I'm all about nice and not evil, <laughs> scary stuff I'm not into. I'm more about the joyous part of Halloween. So I'm gonna start outlining her and uh and painting in the rest of of the pumpkin and i may leave um some little shadow lines in the grooves of of the pumpkin have not decided yet this uh was a kind of a different style than what i'm going for here although i want them both to have a vintage look so let's get started So here we have the basic outline and it doesn't matter if you hit a little bit of the top part of the finial or not or the bottom part because once again she will be dressed. She'll be dressed as a witch, witch's hat and everything. But you can kind of see how she's starting to come to life. Now I'm going to let this dry and uh, come back and fill the rest in and get the backside done. So. 
at this point, we need to just set her down and walk away for a little bit. Here she is. And this is after three coats of paint. Use as many coats as you need to to achieve the look you're after, but for me it was three. Now I'm going to work on her hat and her arms. I will work the cape around her body after her arms are attached and then add any little details that I want to later. But I initially thought maybe I would purchase, um, you know, a little resale. I ran into some little straw hats and whatnot and thought I would configure them to fit her head and change them so it looked more with the format I was aiming for with her. But it didn't look right. It wasn't going right. So looking back at some of the real vintage uh, pumpkin and Halloween statuary, what you're going to see is the use of a lot of crepe paper. So I'm going to formulate her the brim of her hat with crepe paper. I'm just going to fold it and then pleat. So just a little pleating, a little pleating, and a little pleating, and you'll see the effect that I'm gonna get by doing this. And then I'm gonna do her arms. Her arms are going to be the same as this little guy here. They're gonna be this wire that has false, false uh, moss around it. I put it together, false, false moss around it to give it the look of growing vine. Um, I am going to have her hold a broom as mentioned before and I initially picked up this guy and then I also have this to make my own and I grabbed a stick out of the backyard for the handle and I think I'm gonna go with the one I'm gonna make myself with the stick out of the backyard and this. Also in one hand, she's gonna be holding this beautiful little glass marble, which is gonna look like a crystal ball. So this is where we're at. Her cape is on. She's holding her broom and her crystal ball. I did a little detailing around the seam of the hat where it meets the actual finial to hide any orange that may have appeared and I even added a little bow on the back. This material is a wired jute which I spray painted black. So now I have to decide how much color I want to put on her. I think I am going to add some green details and some moss and a little detail on her hat. I think that will finish her off. So there she is, completely finished. I did add a little touch of paint here and there. I didn't want a lot of extra color because I wanted her to look like she just came from the deep dark forest with her crystal ball and, and her little wicked broom. But there she is. 
from beginning to end, from Finial the Fabulous. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notifications of all our DIY design and decor videos. For this time, it's Shabby Meets Bling. See you next time. Thanks for watching.